the Echo. Oh, I've um, sorted it. Hopefully, I've sorted it now. Um, so, if you're on Facebook, uh, just search for the UK Speedway Tavern, uh, and you'll find us on our page and our group, and most good speedway sites. And if you, uh, if yeah. you miss it today, uh, we're on podcast tomorrow on all the major formats. That's Apple, Spotify, Google, and all the other favourite podcast thingies and you can p- make comments on all of those yeah yeah uh, you can comment as well yeah and yeah, we will yeah. we will pick them up and um put your questions and so on uh, to nigel we also hopefully fingers crossed um at some point tonight hope to be able to speak to somebody um from the new oxford i presume they're going to be called the chasers still yes um that the new setup because obviously the really great news that um come from the agm that wasn't an agm um is that oxford are definitely back and in the championship yeah fantastic news for speedway so um yeah long may that continue yeah it's another potential wide eye for birmingham fans and oxford if they run yeah it's not that far down there not far that down the m40 so yeah yeah, absolutely um so yeah let's go through some of the people that are watching shall we uh i'm just trying to sort out the oh, okay so he's no, yeah, no. yeah okay he's busy so hello wendy hello Stuart and adelaide baker sound is not good guys i'm just sorting yeah. it off. i okay. think it should be okay i think it's sorted now okay uh craig me um and we're uh, yeah, yeah that's it oh andrew gardner Alan Peter Welch and Dave Twine. Um, can you guys let us know whether that sound has actually improved? Because um, we want you yep. to be able to hear yep, everything. Yep, that's it, yeah. resorted. Okay, fantastic. Sorry about that. Uh, so Dylan Spuddy Hodgett, so I'm going to go start get straight into the comments but since they've, they've started coming up. Go on, then. Um, evening chaps, only been a couple of weeks since the last episode and he's disappeared. <laughs> too many comments already stop it yeah. uh, since the last episode but you don't realise how much you miss having a natter about Speedway with a bunch of random people <laughs> <laughs> great news about Oxford and it seems work until I'm making plans for next season too mm-hmm. that, that we found out about that last night mm-hmm. as well didn't we hopefully the Brummies can get sorted uh, amen to that brother yeah. mm-hmm. um, Dave Twine so I got, he's just said yep Yep. yep. I, mean, give I think it's regarding the sound, that is. Yeah, yeah, regarding yeah, the yeah. sound, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got any more comments? Uh, uh, you've been very busy tonight. I know you're trying to get things sorted. Oh, I think it's been mad tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds bad. Uh, here's a brush interrupted. Well, that's probably not me, because I think we're... Uh, no, I've got no drop frame, so we're, we're broadcasting fine. Uh, Stuart says, uh, better, great around Oxford. Best news for many years. Lawrence says he's got no sound. Well, turn the side up then, Lawrence. Turn the sound up then. <laughs> <laughs> turn your hearing aid up, Lawrence. No, that's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. You won't leave you in bloody morning, Stuart, if you're making comments like that, so... Yeah, I could oh, reply to that one. Well, we maybe shouldn't have said that to uh, Mike. Uh, he, well, he can't hear, so we're OK. <laughs> <laughs> we're OK. So we were... I, I, I have tried to get in touch with somebody from Oxford. Uh... And so far, no one's coming back to me, but we're still ever hopeful by the end of the show. Yeah. Never know. Uh, Dylan Spuddy Hodgett says predictions for the Oxford signing tomorrow, uh, which is going to be the captain, I believe. Yep. Um, he says he's going for Scotty Nichols, closely yeah. followed by Bat. Scott, Scott Nichols would be my hunch as well. Mm. I mean, of course, you know, we should say at this say, obviously, bitterly disappointing news that uh, Kent. Won't be coming to the tapes in 2022. Um, but of course, that uh, means that Scott Nichols ultimately will be free to go to uh, another track. Mm. Uh, and of course, it's you know a track that he knows, although he hasn't ridden on it for a, a long time, like anybody else. Like anybody else, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, but it's... Uh, no, it's, it's... I mean, it's it's been... It's looked on the cars for some time now, isn't it? I mean, we've seen the work that's gone on to, to get the stadium. Yeah, it's great news. It's great in, uh, news. Back in, right, back in good condition. And, uh, yeah... They've uh, they've still got a, a very very strong fan base there at Oxford. You know, mm. I mean, obviously when I started watching Speedo, they they were the they were the big they were the you know the cool parts yeah. of their side. They were yeah. they were the outstanding team at the time. Um, so yeah, fantastic news for them to be back. 
uh, positive news about Kent today too, suggesting they'll be running in the National League at I wait. I haven't heard about that. I haven't that. heard that, no. no. And mm. there's a Glasgow Tigers fan can hear us perfectly, and that's a long way away. Just a bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll, if you want to get Nigel on the phone, we'll uh, get started okay. with that. In the meantime, oh, um, Lawrence has got it through his headphones now. Oh, I'll do. There we go. Uh, it's just one more thing I need to sort out, and that's the um, captions. I'm going to sort sort the captions off, and then I'll. Um, okay, dokie. For some reason, yeah, yeah. you can tell yeah. we've had a two week break, can't you? Yes, he's busy <laughs> spinning all the plates at the moment, yeah. Mr. Brown. So yeah, okay, give me five seconds. So I'm just going to sort that. Talk amongst okay. yourself. I, I know there's um, comments coming on, but we can't actually look at them at the moment because uh, Webby's sorting some technical stuff. Eh? So he's clicking buttons and pressing knobs, yeah. or is it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, so we was at the meeting last night. Uh, what was your thoughts on what you heard? Um, well, it was very warm in there for a start. Mm. You know, with a lot of uh, a very very good turnout for us. It was, yeah. Um, I uh, the impression I got from him was that he's very open, mm-hmm. very honest. Wants it to be successful. Um, I think he did go as far as saying that he's never had a bit worked in, in a business that's that's failed, he did, yeah. and he's determined to make sure that that stays the same. Um, this is going to be a slightly different business to um, any of the other businesses that he's run, with all the complexity of the of the, the government governing rules and, and the governing bodies and, and things like that. Um, there's a long way to go, I think. There's a lot to do for Birmingham mm-hmm. to get um, back on track. I think a lot of things have got to fall into the right place. Um, and it, you know, and, and he made it pretty clear that if they do manage to get back on track in 2022, it will need to be supported, which will mean obviously the the crowd levels will will need to be increased on what they have been for the mm-hmm. certainly last season. Um, of course, they've already made plans, as, as we know. The 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 way elephant in the room, of course, was the uh, track conditions last season. Of course, they've got plans to. Ready to go once they've got the uh, the go ahead. Yep, um, of course, that, has, that, that, the base. that does have to happen fairly quickly, to be honest, because mm. it's got to get it's got to have time to bed in. Yeah, to absolutely. get there. Otherwise, it, there's going to be problems again next season, and Birmingham cannot afford that at all. They, you know, no, the problems they had with the track last year really were bad for the club's credibility, and they can't afford that again. Yeah, can't let that happen. Um, <coughs> and, I, and, and by the sounds of the plans, they're not going to let that happen. I mean, they're talking about taking it right down to the base and relaying it completely, yeah. so, which I think is what it needs. It does need, yeah. I mean, how long has it been since it was... Has it, has it been recently? It's, since, never, since it's, never been re, it's never been relayed. Never been relayed. Um, yeah. So it's 2007, so it's but it's probably past its sell by, yeah. right now, by now. Um, and I do believe... Are we ready? Yep. Good. Right, so hopefully we've got Nigel Tolly on the line. Are you there, Nigel? Yes, I am, yeah. Fantastic. Am I Great pronouncing stuff. your name correctly, first of all? Tolly. Tolly, yes. Tolly. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, great. Um, you must have been um, greatly, I don't know, relieved and assured by the uh, number of the crowd that was there last night. Yes, I was very, very pleased. It was very good to see everybody there. Um, I'd like to have seen a lot more there, but there wouldn't have been room in that, <laughs> yeah. that room. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, it's a very, a very good turnout. And, um, well, maybe I think I might just let you talk if you want to outline where we are at the moment at Birmingham. Well, we're coming on nicely. We're not there yet, but the plan is working. Um, I mean, on, on shares, I mean, you, know, you heard about the share issue mm-hmm. we released. That did quite well just for that last night um you know as soon as we get that into the uh, public domain in general i'm sure that's going to do well we've had some more sponsors come in today um Excellent. we've still been working away today um even though i've been to a funeral <laughs> around the funeral still um we've still been working uh, i've got a number of phone calls to make tomorrow um it is dropping in, into place quite nicely um Excellent. i'm you know, we're not, as I keep saying, we're not there yet. Um, and I believe that, you know, things are going to look quite good with riders as well. Um, 
I mean, we haven't been able to contact riders, but I know a, a number of riders have contacted contacted Lawrence and are looking forward to returning to Birmingham if it does go ahead. Great. I mean, course, yeah, come. We've got, as you know, until well, the first couple of weeks in December to get it all sorted. Okay, and you're confident at the moment that we're, we've sort of got the I'm right timeline? I'm quietly confident, yes. <laughs> I'm so, as the weeks are going on, I'm getting slightly more confident Great. Uh, by the day. And it's got to the stage now where we're not far off no return. Um, you know, we're still not <laughs> finalised with... It's a bit, ch- bit like chicken and egg, really, because we can't go ahead any further with the lease of the stadium until we've got the go ahead from BSPL. Um, and then BSPL really wants to know we've got the go ahead with the stadium. Chicken um, and egg. <laughs> it's chi- yeah, it's chicken and egg all the way through. But <clears throat> we've been having this now for months and I'm, so, I'm getting a, a true picture of what's going on. Um, it's a big learning curve for me. Um, and as I just heard you say on there that um, I've got a lot to learn. and There's a lot of other things that come into it as well, but I'm learning very quickly. Excellent. I mean, I, th- I think Speedway is a whole totally different thing to just about any other sort of business sports or otherwise. Yeah, I mean, you've got two elements. You've got the actual riding side of it. But then you've got the financial side of it and the actual running of, of it as a business. Mm-hmm. And there's, there's no difference in running it that as a business than any other business. You've just got to plan everything out. Exactly what outgoings you've got, exactly what incomes you've got. Um, and when you start to get a true picture of that, everything starts to drop into place. Yeah. It isn't as difficult as it initially appears when you start to get everything down on paper and you start to do all your sums and all the rest of it. The most important thing is getting those people in through the gates. Mm. And as I said last night, I want to see it as a big family. Um, everybody, so anybody can come to me at any time and speak to me uh, with concerns about everything. I noticed there was concerns from one supporter on the um, Facebook page today. Um, about um, the, the staff at the stadium. If there's any concerns about that, just contact me. Mm-hmm. You know, don't stop coming just because you, there's a, a small problem with something like that. I'll sort out that problem. Mm-hmm. You know, the staff have got to be all courteous to the everybody that comes in through the gate. Absolutely, because they're the front line. They're uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Without the supporters, we shan't be there. Fantastic. I mean, I mean, we're it's... not we're not running it as a private con- concern. Private with no concern for supporters. We are there to see the Brummies riding next season and looking after the supporters. Um, I mean, really good, good to hear that. Um, are you able to sort of share with us some of the uh, problems that you've had up until now to, to sort of get the show on the road? Well, obviously, the, the biggest problem has been the lease of the stadium and the the big increase in the price of that. Um, that that is the, the biggest problem, the biggest headache. Um, and as I say, most people would have walked away from it. Um, I was talking to somebody tonight that um, I could see on the screen now as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I was speaking to somebody tonight that what was or is in the background um, with another consortium. Uh, it doesn't look like they're making headway at all. And mm-hmm. he completely agrees with everything that we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is, it's, it's any, as I said last night, as a business proposition, I'd have just walked away. Mm-hmm. It's only because I've got Speedway in my blood, in my heart, that I want to see it move forward. I don't think anybody else would have given up ages ago. I right. just wouldn't have considered it as a business. Um, as you know, we've, um, we have our shout box. You're actually on it as well. Um, so we've got a few questions as they come in. We'll, we'll put them out to you. 
<clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Dylan Spuddy Hodgetts has just, I mean, it's more of a comment really, but it says the enthusiasm of this guy is refreshing to hear and hopefully all things go to plan for the Brummies. So, mm, Yeah, that's very go. good to hear, yeah. Mm. I, I mean, I, I was reading feedback on the Facebook pages um, um, from last night. Mm -hmm. It all seems very positive, all that's coming back. Um and we've just got to work on that. Yeah, uh, we'll 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 carry on having these meetings with with supporters. We'll have them all the way through the close season. Um, we might have to look at uh, bigger venues than that. Um, <laughs> but you know, we're very pleased and, and thank mm -hmm. uh, the cricket club very much for that uh, for letting us have the room last night, um, which they didn't charge for, but I'm sure they did quite well across the bar. With that, if people could get to the bar, yes, <laughs> some of us did manage it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, know, I noticed some did, some did quite a few times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was. Um, I thought it uh, was a very good venue, and thank them very much for their uh, for letting us use it mm. last night. And it's close, so close to the stadium, of course. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yes, everybody mm. knows it's quite close. Mm. there and thereabouts. Um, ben Clifton says, "I hope it works out for the Brummies. Still having sleepless nights over my passion being ripped away from us at Central Park." Um, yeah, Ben's been on this show a few times actually, mm. Mm. Um, and a friend of the show. But although I, I have heard that um, there are, there's a possibility the, that you know, so there are some something might be salvaged for for Kent. Yeah, um, so fingers crossed. Yeah, I've, that. I've heard that as well today. Yeah. No, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, um, so I mean, I'm going to try and go through a few of the things that you you announced last night. Of course, there was the the share scheme. Yeah. Um, if you could explain that a little bit and how people can get involved in in that. Yeah, the, com the, uh, the company's been launched, um, Birmingham <coughs> Speedway 2022 Limited. Um, and part of that, we wanted the supporters to be involved. Um, so I've, I've always been very close to Seven Valley Railway and uh, several other uh, preserved railways, and they always issue share issues. So I thought, well, why don't we also issue shares? so that the supporters become part of it and feel more part of it. So the shares are a pound each. Um, and the minimum purchase quantity is 100, 100 pounds, and then they're in multiples of 25 pounds, so 100, 125 pounds, 150 pounds. They're not, as on that bottom of the, the page that was given out last night, 100 pound each share. They're a pound a share. <laughs> yeah. It was pointed out to me very quickly last night that you got it was. 100 pounds a share. Now, they're a pound a share, but the minimum is 100, yeah. okay. basically. And... The more shares that are taken, there is, there's been benefits to uh, taking out the shares. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to run, um, let's say, various um, competitions on the night for shareholders, on the uh, race nights, etc. Um, there's going to be benefits, and you will feel part of of owning, if you like, Birmingham Speedway, mm -hmm. um, and it'll make a big difference. It'll make it. It could make the difference between us going ahead this year and going ahead the following year etc mm -hmm. um if we do um if we do well on it but so far the, the response has been very very good um it'll they'll be made available on the um the web page they'll be made available on the facebook page where you can uh download the um leaflet and print it out and send it back to us I must stress on that that no money will be taken until we are going to absolutely certain 100% that we're going ahead. Okay. No money will be taken out of your bank account and it'll vanish and, because it isn't going ahead. That will not happen. None will be taken out until we have got the go ahead. And, of course, it would make a, a wonderful um, Christmas present for... Exactly, yeah. 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 that time of year and and we we, we was um, am i allowed to share this chris well yeah, yeah. We, well we'll do it we'll yeah, do it. yeah. We, we, we were sharing we was talking about the, the shares um before you came on air and we was thinking we might actually buy between the three of us um some share the, the, it's 100 shares for yeah. the speedway tavern that would be brilliant so, yeah. um, thank you very much yeah. that'd be brilliant so you but, know, 
but the point is that that people can do that they don't have to if, if it's a hundred pound is is too much for a particular person they can group together mm. yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's all money yeah i don't know i mean i think we'd you know that the shares would have to be um you have to make the shares in one name i think yeah but yeah, we, yeah. we will mm. just leave it have them yeah. 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 yeah 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 it could be a yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a corporate or whatever yeah, yeah, yes yeah, that's yeah, true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. more so. sorts on the edge yeah um yeah that's brilliant thank you very much no no problem okay. um matt have you got anything on, on just on the basis nigel that the these it is successful in birmingham running 2022 i mean one of the things that tended to get leveled at david and peter mason which you know isn't, isn't intended as a as a criticism is the fact that they were based so far away and that you know exactly. they weren't quite as hands-on i mean how, how hands-on do you intend to be on in, t- in terms of running the club on, on particularly on on race nights or is the intention that you would leave that to, to lawrence as, as no, david and peter I, were doing I, I certainly intend to be at every home meeting certainly yeah. mm-hmm. um no doubt about that whatsoever um and it isn't just a matter of turning up at sort of ten minutes before the the meeting starts. It's a yeah. matter of getting there, as I was do, as I was doing actually for the the, the last six or eight uh, meetings. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was lurking in the background, doing all sorts of uh, investigations. Um, but yeah, she'll be there early. And as I, as I said last night, you know, the, we got plans. Originally, we wanted to um, release. Um, to fans on the last meeting, but we couldn't because the Masons hadn't got any commitment, etc. So we couldn't make an announcement now. Mm-hmm. But I mean, this is sort of things. We the, the track's got to be rebuilt. Yeah. Uh, we, we know we know of all the problems associated with it last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, one the dust, etc. Um, that isn't going to happen next season. Um, We've got a blade sorted, um, to sort out the track, and as we said, we've got four loads of shale on back order um, with transport, etc. Everything arranged, and then it'll just be a matter of rebuilding the track. And we'd intended to do that in November, yeah. but of course, we've been delayed with everything going on. But that's the first job to get mm-hmm. done: is the um, uh, sorting out of the track. I mean, there's, there's obviously loads of other jobs as well, but yeah, that's just. Yeah. Uh, that's the first one. I mean, um, one of the, the problems with the track last year, because from my point of view, because I, I do work on the track as well, um, yep. is um, the machinery that we currently have there is perhaps it's sell, past its sell-by date? It's past its sell-by date, but I mean, um, I, mean I used to um, work in um, horticulture and... The, the tractors that we had were donkeys years old, and there's nothing wrong with a tractor as long as it's regularly serviced. It's not doing hard work there out on the track. Mm-hmm. Uh, they look a bit scruffy, and they'd be good with a, uh, a nice coat of paint as well. But we're also <laughs> we're also like. working on sponsors for tractors. Okay. And I think we I think we're getting somewhere on that as well. So there might be news on that in the next uh, few weeks. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, obviously, you're sort of I, I don't know whether you, whether to call you the head of the consortium or you, might, you can correct me on that. But you're you're sort of fronting a consortium. Are we able to know yeah. any of the other people on the consortium? Um. Yeah. Um, you don't have to answer that. No, no absolutely. Don't mind. Yeah. Don't worry. 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 The main one that people want to know about is Tracy, Tracy Smith. Mm-hmm. Who has, you know, been uh, helping with the running of the Sporters Club for years. Yeah, yeah, sure, um, sure. And she will be feeding back to us any problems concerning the supporters, the Sporters Club, etc. And we hope to build on that. Um, and as we said last night, it'd be nice to go back to the days of years ago when I know oh, no, it came out last night there was a hell of a lot of sort of booing and all sorts of sounds when I mentioned Cradley careful yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> but I mean Matt is all the Hampton old... supporters so just be very careful <laughs> <laughs> still got the scores from no, uh, well, those nightmares <laughs> yeah it's uh, it, I think if there was uh, there was a lot of noise every time I mentioned uh, Cradley last night um <laughs> <laughs> but you know, going back to the old Margaret Hardiman days, when 
we were talking last night, um, you know, when there was a dozen or so coaches going to away meetings, mm -hmm. it'd be absolutely marvellous to get back to those days. And I oh, know it's all pie in the sky and that's never really in reality going to happen, but it'd be nice for something to aim to. Mm. Um, and build and b building on the supporters club. Um, there's somebody else who was looking in the background last night, but I didn't mention his name. Um, Gary Drinkwater has been involved with Coventry. Um, he's um, in with us. Um, there's another one that I can't mention, but this this other this what I found was that. There are quite a few people that are in the stage of retirement where they've sold their businesses and would very much like to come into Speedway. Mm -hmm. And I've spoken to several people. I thought, oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And then they've gone off the phone after speaking to me and spoken the next day and said, oh, I actually had a word with my wife about it uh, last <laughs> night, and she put her foot down uh, slightly. And <laughs> well, um, <laughs> she thinks I'm going to be spending too much time on it in, involved with Speedway. Mm. Um, but the getting around that, going back to the share issue, um, rather than becoming a, a, a director of the company and a consortium member, um, they can just buy shares. Um, and I know some of these people have got intentions of buying, you know, several thousand pounds worth of shares. Um, and they can, they can still ring me up with ideas at any time. Um, and, you know, as a share, as a shareholder. Mm -hmm. And so there's, and th that way they can go back and tell the wives, no, I'm not going to be spending any time. I haven't got to turn up to every meeting. Um, and work around it that way. There's lots of different ways, lots of different ways. And the more people that have an in input into it, um, the better as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, have we got some more comments on the, uh, uh, Chris? Yeah, because yeah. I thought I saw some. He's right, he's messing about here. I'll get back to you in a second. Here we go. Okay. There we go. I'm not even going to talk about um, somebody talking about changing the logo. I mean, no, I'm not going there. I'm not even going there. Can't actually hear you, Chris. Sorry, there you go. There you go. Uh, sorry, someone has asked regarding where do they find this form uh, to become a shareholder? Right, it's going to be going, as I say, it was only just released last night. Lawrence very quickly put together the form and it was going backwards and forwards yesterday. We thought we'd got it to proofread and out there and we did find mistakes, as you know, last night. Mm. Um, but no, it'll be going out on the website and on the Facebook page, etc. Uh, you can download it, print it out and get it sent to, sent back to us. Um, you know, simple as that. I don't think that's been sorted yet today, but it will certainly after this. Uh, as we said last night, I mean, I know Lawrence is listening and uh, he's going on holiday tomorrow. And <laughs> I don't know how he's going to manage that, but uh, there's so much to do. But <laughs> uh, there you go. Now, we're going to get we're going to make sure it is got out there, um, proofread again and, and got out there. So it will be available very, very shortly. I think on our last show, um, we voted for who was the hard, hardest working man in uh, Speedway, and we all come up with Lawrence yeah. Rogers. So, I mean, oh, well, yeah, he doesn't. I just see, yeah. I just see Lawrence has put up it's it's on the website, so it's, it has been yeah. put up there. Okay. So it's, it's on the website. That's good. Good stuff. No, Lawrence, Lawrence's work is absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Mm. A friend of the show, Brian Buck, who's that again? Oh, um, God, says uh, there could also be a four-team tournament event between Birmingham Wolves, Cradley and Coventry, and maybe also the resumption of an old event of the Midland Riders Championship, all worth considering, I think. Yeah, that's that has been yeah. considered. Mm -hmm. That's definitely been considered. And certainly challenge matches between the Midlands teams. Mm -hmm. Because obviously you've got to make sure that you have an X amount of meetings, haven't you? With the, right, yeah. With the 20. Yeah. yeah. 20, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, I think from what Peter Adams and Chris Van Stratton have, have been muted as saying in the last few weeks, that it looks like there is going to be extra competition, certainly in the top league, because, you know, 
with six teams again, this time having a full season, there's going to be a lot of spare dates floating around and clubs have got to get a number of these dates in to be able to, um, you know, justify the, the outlay on, on stadium rent. So, Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. And then the interleague uh, challenges and things like that. As long as we oh, beat Wolverhampton, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to comment uh, on that one <laughs> because you know it's going to happen. No, so. yeah, it hasn't happened for a long time, though, is it? So. <laughs> no, I mean yeah, I'm, I'm sure that will be a, a long time. So. No. <laughs> I'm sure that would be a fantastic yeah, uh, meeting Wolverhampton mm. against uh, Birmingham. Mm. Uh, I'm Peter mm. Welsh. There's uh, good news for Birmingham and my team, Newcastle. Hope 2022 is a year for Speedway. Well, there's nobody disagreeing here with that. No. Uh, do you want to That's jump? certainly very true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you like? We've to... got to make it that though. It isn't yeah. just. It's just not going to just happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I think you mentioned, and, and I understand that you've got to be careful with what, uh, what what you say. So, you know, I'm not trying to pressurise you into anything here. But you, you did mention a little bit about there are things that the BSPL really need to start looking at and doing differently. Oh. Well, you know, it's 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 not hard, is it, when you for anybody to see, you know, as I said, how many teams are there in the Premiership? Six. Uh, six, six, yeah. yeah. Uh, how many are there in the Championship? Mm. Um, we're still losing clubs from that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when you look at the 20 meetings, you think, well, that's another one gone every time um, a team lo- um, drops out and then one home meeting gone. There's something got to be, there's something got to happen there. I know there's all sorts of reasons for um, not combining the two, um, but you know that that is the that is the obvious answer mm. um, is that the two leagues combine. Um, uh, that's all right. I'm just reading nineties on the phone. It's not the best. But we are trying. That's my. That's not my phone. No, uh, right, no. It's, not, it's not my phone. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is the, uh, there's all sorts of problems with it, but that's the obvious answer is the two leagues combine. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but you, you know, the biggest problem is there at the moment, the riders write for two teams and they're only going to be able to write for one team. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I, I know Lawrence disagrees with me on this one. Lawrence doesn't think there's going to be enough riders to go around, mm. but, and um, I think there would be, um, but then, say the riders have got to come to terms with the fact they're not going to be earning as much. But if it's going to mean the survival of British Speedway, and this is what's got to be looked at, it is. I mean, the way I look at it, it's not only I'm not only coming in, into it to sort of Birmingham. You've got to look at the big picture overall. Yeah. Birmingham wouldn't be able to survive without a league. No. Uh, if more teams drop out, the leagues won't be able to survive. Absolutely no. Yeah. Um, and the, the riders. Yeah, they might. If they can't write for two teams, they're going to write for t- for one team. Their salaries are going to be dropping down. You see, but I don't yeah. think that's necessarily the case. And, and and why I say that is because you still they're still going to be racing against the same number of teams. Because if the if the league is bigger, they hit mo- they get more matches. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting mm. more matches, but they're not getting their sort of two a week. <coughs> And at the moment, mm. they're riding in the one league and then they're riding in the other league, aren't they? So they're getting two two league matches with different teams a, a week. Well, maybe. Not, yeah, I mean, I mean obviously. Not more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it depends on how many matches that you have, I suppose. Yeah, I think yeah. really what the one, the, the, I mean, the one thing people really want to see, particularly in, you know, from Marcos supporting a club that's in the top league, is a bit more variety because when you're saying, seeing the same five teams over the course of the season, it just, you know. You you want to see you know you want to see different clubs you want to be able to go to different away tracks rather than just the same place every exactly. single season it, it, it's 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 yeah it has become really frustrating for the for exactly. the top league that it's it's shrunk as much as it has to be honest yeah you know I'm 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 sure supporters are going like this and well didn't we see them about three weeks ago mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. well that's the thing isn't it I mean you you know as an example you know Wolves might be racing Bellevue and you know. People might think, well, I saw Bellevue a couple of weeks ago. I'll, I'll give this one a miss, and then yeah. you know the crowd yeah. suffers. It isn't. It isn't good for the sport at the moment. Um, you know, so something needs to be done uh, to secure 
Bridges Speedway. Um, and you know, if it does cut, I mean, yes, it's, it's see if it worked so that the riders' um, salaries weren't dropping down. But it, at the end of the day, they've got to, the riders have got to work with us as well, because if if Speedway disappears from uh, Britain, then they're not going to get a salary at all from Britain. That's no. going to be, you know, mean a hell of a lot more travelling for course. them to even even to still remain as Speedway riders, or or even to train to learn how to become Speedway riders. Well, exactly. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. So we need to sort this out, guys. <laughs> Basically, is what we're saying. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We got any more well, comments on that? Uh, it looks like it looks like the National League could be the biggest league in British Speedway next season. That says a lot when grassroots speedway is more appealing for clubs to enter than the top two. Uh, Paul says, "I would love to be able to buy shares in Swindon Speedway." <laughs> uh, and what was was another one there? Uh, how can it be two leagues with the same riders? Agree totally, says Simon. That's the problem. That's the problem, isn't it? The mm. doubling up. You know, I mean, you could have a situation where, you know, at, at the moment you'd have, uh, you know, you have long delays because Chris Harris is rolling for Birmingham in eight one, and then he's got to go back to the changing room and get his Kev, his Peter and Kev Foster <laughs> riding eight number two. So it's, it's uh, <laughs> don't think that would quite work. <laughs> <laughs> Only a speed race, more uh, yeah. Can't be opposite me would have said. Uh, um, I'll just get to Dylan. Yeah. Uh, Dylan says, uh, with all due respect to Brum, I uh, couldn't Nigel go take over the whole British Speedway project instead of a club. Uh, he's got more common sense than the majority of the BSPL combined with his thoughts. <laughs> no comment. Thank you, Dylan, but I better comment. I know I said I wasn't going to go there, but there's enough people pour up that I think I've got to go. There's a load of people on here that I de desperately disagree with, and I may even go and kill them. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't try. <laughs> Sa saying that um, the Brummies logo is tired, and we should change it. Mm. Well, you know, you know that was quite a topic last night. Mm. Well, not quite a topic, but it was mentioned last night. Um, mm. And you know, because my previous. Um, I was um, director of Badger Trust, yes. um, and Brummy, Brummy Badgers was mentioned, and <laughs> getting somebody out there in a Badger outfit, etc. Chris is volunteering Mike? as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, he's an old guy. But you've got uh, you've got no plans to change the logo and who we are. Certainly, certainly not as, at the present stage. I mean, no, you, you know, it's, it's it's uh, it's part of. Birmingham mm. Speedway, it's, it, it is Birm, you know, it's his Brummies. Mm. Um, so if you don't ain't broke, don't turn, don't to try and fix it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so you know, yes, that. On the other hand, you could look at it. Well, it's this is a new company now, a new fresh start, new logo, and in the certainly in the retail uh, world, part of survival is to continually evolve your logo. So you could look at it from that angle, um, is that it should be just slightly tweaked every two or three years. I mean, shall I mention that word again, cradley? Mm, well, uh, if you want to, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look how look how many times that changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, from the original um, CH. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of it, but it should. That was probably done too quickly, but just small tweaks yeah. uh, every few years really is the professional way to go about it. I mean, of course, it's, we have had. all companies do. Yeah, I mean, of course, we have had tweaks, so, haven't yeah, we? So um, tweaks, yeah, yeah. Even since 2007, because mm -hmm. the logo that we used last year isn't just the big red B on the background. Right. There was, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. As long I think, I think basically, as long as we keep the B, whatever mm. else you do. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, a... I've got to be quite honest at the moment. That's the sort of the least yeah, of, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's just see if we can actually get riding again next season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. It's, but yeah, that that is you know that has been mentioned, and it's, it, there is we're always open to ideas on that. Mm. Um, see what happens. 
Uh, so Dylan's actually agreeing with you. Change isn't always bad, though. Could keep the big red B. Oh, he's disappeared. Oh, there. Yeah. With, with a slight change, maybe add some iconic Brum landmarks faded into it. So. Uh, can I just add that uh, Brian Book says, don't ever change the Brummies emblem, uh, Nigel. You'll get lynched. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you get the the idea that you are sort of taking over a club that has got quite a bit of passion with its supporters yeah <laughs> exactly i mean all teams have yeah all teams mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. Um, and this is why i keep saying we've got to operate as a family yeah rather than you know as 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 an individual company and that's what we're going to do we're going to listen to the supporters Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna t- listen frequently to them, um, and any ideas that's there, my you know I don't mind giving out my phone number. It's um, always been available, and I'll always listen to people. And Dave Twine says the logo is in my blood. I think yeah. we get the picture. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think we get the picture. Um, one of the things that you mentioned last night um, was different sort of initiatives to to do with sponsorship to uh i can't remember what it was you called it now but going out and um almost like like shares but for people that are not actually watching speedway i can't remember what you called it now no no i no. don't no, no, okay. no. i mean one I, of the I, things that you, i wanted remember, to see yeah. <laughs> go on go on one of the things that i did want to to see more of which are trying to build up that we do really need a sponsor for every meeting mm. and you know my idea on that was that for um well, for basically two and a half thousand is that um you get sponsorship for the meeting um which would mean up to 20 people attending on the sponsorship um, you'd have a meet and greet the riders in the pits before the meeting and then escorted up to the bar, reserve places in the bar, uh, the tables at the front, um, and then go down during the meeting to the centre green um, and watch a couple of races from the, the centre green. You'd also have banners all the way around the uh, stadium. There'll be up to ten banners included in the in that cost, and mentions in the program, obviously, and um, of the announcements made of the sponsor during the the, the meeting. We could even something that's been scripted out uh, by the um, sponsors is then read out on you know exactly what mm-hmm. the company is, etc. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that actually I don't think that's and everybody I've mentioned it to in, in business has said, well actually it seems quite good value. Mm. Um but if we could get if we could get a, a sponsors for each meet each meeting, if we could get sponsors for each meeting um and eight hundred through the gate, then we would be able to we'd be in business. Right. You know, that, that would secure Birmingham. Yeah. So if anybody that wants to sponsor a meeting gets in touch with us, I'm sure we can work with them. There you go. There's the target. There you go. Yeah. Um, one of the things that you mentioned last last night, and I hope I've got this one right, because <laughs> after the last de- debacle, um, was a way of raising funds by people buying things online for different companies and so on. Um, I can't really remember mm. what that was all about. Do you remember that well, Matt? <laughs> I do, yeah. I do remember it, yeah. yeah. You'll have to excuse uh, Mike, he's a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we've we've no idea why, why, we've no idea why, but he's just a bit well, tired. Yeah. Well, if, if anybody else can think what that was, <laughs> what we're talking about. Well, you, you mentioned the com- <laughs> there was companies mentioned like um, Amazon. Amazon was yeah. mentioned and... Oh, well, yes, on the fundraising. Yes. Yeah, doing yeah. it on the same sort of lines Phew. as, um, <laughs> yes, as, Ed, as Ed, Ed, Edinburgh are doing um, with various fundraising methods in that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we're working on that. I mean, I, uh, Lawrence actually knows more about that than I do, but, yeah, we're working on that. Um, 
there's 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 three or four different things I think they do with uh, with that, and it is a uh, there's there's one that you get when you shop with certain companies, you get a discount off, mm. um, but um, you still um, this still makes money for the the club. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, we've got to look into that in more depth. That that isn't one that we're sort of doing immediately, certainly, but mm. for the future, it looks like. Edinburgh have been doing very, very well with it. Mm-hmm. So it is certainly something we've got to look into mm-hmm. in more depth. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep, yep, yeah. Yep. And and possibly my last question, and hopefully, <laughs> now this one I know I'm on safe ground. You, uh, you was talking about sort of plans on how to bring youngsters through the turnstiles. Yes. Um, well, the, the major thing is on that is that. We want it so that, yes, you've got the speedway racing, but there's other activities going on on well in between the races. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's something to keep you active all the way through the meeting. Um, And there's various different methods being... I mean, one of the things that I suggested was the face painting. The kids love that. Mm -hmm. Um, That's simple enough to operate. And there's various other things as well. I, I... ran in Birmingham um, I ran for four years Birmingham Wildlife Festival um, we hired Victoria Square for the day um, we got activities on all the way through the day there and there's some of those that we can use such as face painting etc that um, we can use for the help the kids so, I mean you know things like I don't know Punch and Judy with um, um Punch and Judy dressed as certain riders, uh, which, which maybe change every week. I can see problems there. <laughs> no, no, no. It depends which riders. Yeah. 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 Well, you can yeah. use your imagination on that yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Punch, so. <laughs> but there's, there's, there's loads of things. I mean, we want to int- reintroduce the boxes again. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's a bit ridiculous, those being empty, mm, you know, we're yeah, hiring things. But, yeah. but, of course, we've got to work with the stadium. We don't want to alienate, so we want to work with the stadium. Mm. Um, and I say we want to reintroduce meals, pre, pre-ordered meals, pre-booked mm. tables, yeah. etc., um, mm. with various different foods. So there's, there's everything from a bag of chips and curry sauce right the way through to an exotic two or three course meal mm-hmm, mm-hmm. available yeah. um, to attract various different people into the stadium. Um, with the children, yeah, we've got to, we've got to sort out a lot of uh, different activities for them to keep them active. I didn't, I thought of, and I mentioned it last night, but it didn't go down too well. Um, reintroducing cheerleaders. <laughs> uh, but that's, that didn't tend to go down too well. I oh. think it would. I personally think it would work quite well. And yeah. Um, <laughs> as, as, as I think you uh, you heard last night, yeah. I was talking outside about this, but strangely enough, there was the volunteers that came forward were all males, <laughs> which I couldn't really understand. You see, I actually think that would be a good way to do it. I have think, have yeah. male cheerleaders no, and no, female no. cheerleaders. No, I just, just female, just and, female. Just female. Yeah, yeah, we, fact, Mike might know one. Actually, yeah. Mike might do that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's various uh, different things that could be introduced on, uh, on that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know... I don't. I don't think at any time Peaky Blinders have been mentioned mm. uh, up there. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they're the biggest, one of the biggest attractions in the world, Peaky Blinders. Yeah. But you know, they don't seem to. They mention more at the Black Country Museum than they are in Birmingham. Mm. At, um, you know, at, uh, at St Andrews uh, at the Blues Ground, they they have got a couple of um, lookalikes. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. Peaky Blinders that just 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 mess about in the. Um, uh, restaurant area in that way, like the corporate areas and that, like shaking hands and having to be, to be, But, but oh, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, this is more of a, more of a, a city thing, really, that, 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 that the city hasn't made more of the, the Peaky Blinders. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. exactly. Might be because their accents are rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the gangsters. <laughs> yeah. And they kill people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't go down well. But, but you, I know you do something at the Blues where you have a Peaky Blinders day and everybody comes dressed up as Peaky oh, Blinders. Oh, they've done it in the past. Well, that's exactly what I'm 
was yeah, thinking, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. We could have a Peaky Black Blinders night. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. maybe have the best one. Yeah. Get mm-hmm. something, yeah. you know. But, yeah, yeah, we'd be yeah. wandering around yeah. the stadium looking mm-hmm. for it and then get them down on the centre green and uh, yeah. give a prize for the um, yeah. most authentic yeah. Peaky Blinder. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, um, at the, I mean, at the moment, of course, you know, there, there has been the... You know, and one of the things that the Masons did introduce during their tenure, of course, was was interval entertainment for the kids on the on the centre grid. On, on the centre grid, yeah. I'm certain that's something that you would look at, at continuing yeah, on. So definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got to make more of that. There's there's a hell of a lot we could be doing. Um, a hell of a lot. So we don't just want we want to make it a night out. Mm-hmm. And not just for Speedway, but for other activities. I know that the majority of fans will just want the Speedway. But mm-hmm. say if we can keep the kids entertained, uh, bring new people in. Um, you know, there's a lot of various different things that we could, uh, that we could do. Mm-hmm. But, um, Duncan it, Pemberton, thank you, uh, says, too many take sponsors for granted. What I'm hearing, if he talks, if he talks the talk with how he will entertain and advertise them is spot on. How about a former rider to look after them? Yes, that has been talked about as well. And we have, a, well, not a rider as such, but there's somebody that's um, that's done this in the past that would, is willing to help out. And yeah, I'm I, sure. I, can, I, can I just I, say that's another thing that's done at St Andrews as well, right? Yeah. Where former players, right, they entertain the uh, corporate sponsors and so mm. forth. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so that's a great order. Mm. I, yeah, I, are no, you going to read this one? Uh, Max out on day release. I expect Mike's out, Mike, day. Mike's out on day release. I expect they'll be off to take him back to his padded cell just after nine. Thanks for that, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I could add. No, but no, 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 no. It's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> he's the same shirt. He's the same shirt as his shirt at the moment. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Laurie says we had we had character costumes before for the kids that went down well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think you I, could, I, have, I, various, I you, you could yeah. have various character um, nights. I say Peaky Blinders is the yeah. obvious one, but yeah. Yeah. we have a few comments on the uh, Punch and Judy. You might not be surprised to hear if there's a punch. <laughs> if there's a punch involved, it's got to be Speedway's Rocky himself, Craig Cook. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Duncan's was the one I was thinking on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Punch and Judy, Nicky Pedersen, you're a very naughty boy. <laughs> <It's> very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought that might uh, bring some comments forward. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of you, know, you could have an Aunt Sally. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. could have a Speedway rider, Aunt Sally, instead of Aunt Sally, a, a Speedway rider. Lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we'll, well, move, we'll move away from the cheerleaders, shall we? Yes. <laughs> There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know whether you saw as well the um, the video from Peterborough's presentation night, because obviously they they were tagged obviously as the the dad's army, and of course yes, all the riders yeah. all the riders came out at the presentation night all dressed as characters from Dad's army, which I thought was fantastic. <laughs> Did so, they really? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, so that's brilliant. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, cool. I've got I've got uniforms like that because I used to uh, participate in the uh, Seven Valley Railway forties um, right. weekends, mm. which are fantastic events. Yeah, right. So, okay. Oh, yeah, that, that dad's army would look very good. Yeah, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dressing up. Michael likes dressing up. Um, yeah, I mean, we've just scratched the f- surface. I mean, there's, there's, there's thousands of different ideas that we could we could try. Um, uh, why, am I com- why am I coming in for such vitriol? I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, no, no. Uh, Birmingham will be fine next season as long as they get rid of that dodgy flag marshal with the long hair. Yeah. That's me, oh, by the yeah, way. Is that the yeah. one that was lying on the centre grid a few weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. oh, it might have been cut now anyway. Yeah. So. Well, I don't think I better speak uh, too much about hair with my uh, mind. Yeah, exactly. Is. All the best people. <laughs> <laughs> just je- it's just jealousy. It's just jealousy. That's all it is. Uh, I, I, I know the rumours were going around before even the end of the season uh, uh, from people, I was getting feedback that was uh, being heard around the, the stands that uh, that guy with the long hair is going to be something to do with it next season. <laughs> <laughs> talking about that guy with the long hair, no, I think this is much. absolutely going to be the last question. Um, but this is a personal question now. Ooh. Ooh. When's Robert coming along? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's uh, yeah, that's um, that's a good one. Um, we did mention it to him a few weeks back, and he said he would. Fantastic. Right. That's Robert Plant for anybody yeah. that doesn't realise who I'm talking about. Mm. That'd be good. Um, that would be that that uh, that That'd would bring excellent. a few people. Oh, it, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it would. Yeah, it would. Um, but, yeah, yeah, he certainly. Um, you know, we did mention it to him, and he. He certainly was willing to. Yeah. But he had had a, a little bit to drink at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll certainly work on that one, yeah. That's Surely certainly a, a distinct possibility for next year. Uh, just just before we go, and I do, do apologise, we haven't talked more on it. Uh, people's thoughts on Oxford. Fantastic news. Yes. Yeah. Um, mm. it is, I mean, it's just the best news. We want clubs opening up, mm. not yeah. going down. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Are, are you aware of uh, what's happening uh, at Oxford? Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there, has there been any news today? <laughs> well, it's, no, it's going to be, it's gonna be some tomorrow, news tomorrow, tomorrow about, about their, their captain's going to be, which is uh, you know, Spe- causing a bit of uh, speculation. Speculation online, is um, so. Scotty Nichols. But yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. I mean, that would seem mm-hmm. a, yeah, a good one. I mean, um, it's still... <clears throat> which I think I've mentioned. Yes, Oxford is 90% certain to go ahead, but it's not a foregone conclusion because they haven't been granted yet the licence for the Greyhounds. Right. And if right. they don't get, um, get the licence for the Greyhounds, then Speedway won't be going ahead. Yeah. So it's not an absolute foregone conclusion yet. Oh, right, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I took it for granted that it was. So, yeah. No, mm. it's just based on that. They haven't as yet. Mm. And I know for a fact there was a, um, a demonstration in Oxford last Sunday against the um, Greyhound licence. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't been granted yet. It, I would say it's likely to, mm. but... You can't say for absolute definite that Oxford's going ahead until that licence has been granted because it will not be going ahead without the Greyhound licence. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. On that note, I want to finish on a positive note. I don't want to finish on that. Um, So, I mean, the way things are looking, you would be confident at this moment that, what, 90% confident that Birmingham's going to be running this year, uh, next year, I beg your pardon? Yes, I would say 90%. There's still I'll really things to be thrashed yeah. out, but there's there's every likelihood. Things will have gone. I will have failed if it, if it, mm. if it doesn't. And as I said before, I don't fail. <laughs> um, the more important thing is probably going to be the season after. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely, yeah. Um, well, um, as a show, um, we will absolutely um, be there to support Birmingham and all the other clubs, of course. Yep. Um, so if there's anything you need from us, if, yeah, you, if you want to come uh, on and give brilliant. any information out, you've yep, got an open yep. invitation. Yeah, and you've got my yeah. telephone number. You can ring me at any time, no problem at all. Uh, make sure you get that to share form. That would be great. Okay, yeah. we will do that. We will yeah. do that. Um, we will show <laughs> it on air. Yeah, tomorrow. So from, from what Lauren just said, it is now but, uh, on the website. Mm, so fantastic. Everybody can go and uh, get their printers uh, and print that out and then get it in the poster. So no money will be taken until we're absolutely certain that we're going ahead. Brilliant. Nigel, thank you very much uh, for coming My on pleasure. the show. Uh, hopefully yeah. the first of many times. And good luck and uh, Merry Christmas to you. Oh, blimey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel. Thanks, Nigel. Thanks, Nigel. Thanks, 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 Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. 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 Bye